How's it going everyone? I'm Contemption. Today I'm starting in 2563 for this video. I've had quite a few questions lately um, on Discord, in our Discord channel, um, private messages as well. Just asking about what a player should do in a new kingdom, and this also goes for players in Old Kingdom. When you've finished all of the events, when you've finished this, when you're working strategic reserve and you don't want to burn through too many action points, when you've done really everything you can, right now there isn't a whole lot to do. You can do your daily objectives. I'm almost done and it's only been five hours since reset. So what do you do? What can a player do to continue growing while you don't want to burn action points because you want to save them for Lohar event, which I think is a perfect spot for it. But we're going to go over that in this video, what I do when there's nothing left to do. And there are things you can do. So there's always something to do in this game, which is why I think a lot of people are drawn to it. You just have to know when to do it and why you're doing it. So let's take a look and um, we'll get right into it. Okay, as you can see right now, I've got three farmers out and I've got one Barb March who shouldn't hit level 21 because I don't last very long on really anything level 19 and above. So I'm kind of not doing so great. I need to train a bunch of T4. The only thing I'm waiting for is Charles Martel, Mightiest Governor. It's really, I know I'm free to play. I'm not gonna be able to push too hard, but that is when I'm going to pump out as many T4 infantry as I can. I've been saving quite a few speed ups and I know this doesn't seem like a lot, but for my case, it's not too bad. There's my training speed ups. And of course I'm going to use universals. That's what I'm waiting for right now, which is why, you know, defeating barbs isn't very easy. Also there is strategic reserve going on. So I'm just, you know, top 100 would be nice. I'm not shooting for it. I don't think the rewards from the chest, and you know what, I have 83, let's just open this up. Hopefully get one gold key out of it. Two gold keys, sweet. I don't think the rewards from this event are the best. I'm gonna wait for Lohar before I burn any action points. Hopefully it falls with another event, uh, like maybe during Mightiest Governor. That'd be pretty sweet, especially if it's Charles Martel. But I don't think you're gonna get as much back from this as you will get back from Lohar. So I'm saving my action points. As you can see, I have quite a few saved up. That's 100% going to help my growth if I can wait until the Lohar event. But while I'm waiting, I'm going to continuously attack barbs. I'm going to join rallies. Like if there's a Dauntless that pops up, I'll join it. If I'm busy, I'll join level two and level three rallies. Level ones aren't worth it. But what do you do when you're done this? Okay, so if you have all of your farms out except for one march or even if you have all your marches back go hit guardians people for whatever reason and this one's already been cleared but i can show you a bunch around here people aren't taking advantage of this so you're getting experience from it once upon a time trophy hunter talent in the peacekeeping commander tree used to give you the resources for neutral units which included guardians so Guardians used to be worth a lot more. It's been some time since they took that away. So I'm, I'm aging myself by talking about that. But obviously you want to make sure with your R4 that you can hit these. They might be a timed thing. I don't think they are for these ones because there's no marker on it. I haven't been told otherwise. But you can go and hunt Guardians. Uh, okay, what's next? Um, you have everything finished. What's one thing that people always neglect and always forget to check? Expedition. I cannot stress how important it is to go into Expedition and make sure all of your levels are three star because if they're not three star, you're not gonna get the daily rewards at the bottom. You're only gonna get those every day if they're three star. So you really wanna make sure you finish that. Next, of course, you wanna make sure that you have your level 30, 40, every 10 levels, you get these bonus side quests or challenges, I should say. That gives you an extra daily reward of Treasure of the Warrior Queen, which is fantastic. It's gonna give you Ethelfled 
It's going to give you silver keys. And if you're lucky, you can get a universal legendary sculpture. It doesn't happen often, but it is in there. So the reason you want to have these up high, as high as possible is, of course, to buy as many Ethel Fled sculptures as you can, especially free to play or really anybody. Ethel Fled is a very important legendary commander. I still use her in game on my main account out in the field for open field fighting. She's fantastic. You can put her behind so many commanders. Let's say you're stuck on one of these commanders. You definitely want to grab a rune. You want to use an attack boost like one of these or a defense boost. If you have enough troops and not everybody will, especially early game, you can use a basic army expansion. I wouldn't suggest advanced army expansion unless you're doing this right off of our after Ark of Osiris. So if you're doing this after Ark of Osiris, you're probably already going to have the advanced army expansion popped or at least the basic army expansion as well as an attack or defense boost. Um, that is the best time to do anything in the campaign. Myself, we're going to try this right now. Hopefully I can get three star on level 40. I don't have a problem with commanders as much as I have a problem with troops. So I can fill up probably two marches is the best I'm going to be able to do. So those are the marches I'm going to have. Now, if you're stuck on a match, you can play around with it. It would probably be better for me to split up the troops into four even marches because I have the commanders and those commanders are going to give buffs and debuffs um, to my other marches and against the enemy. But let's just try this right now. I haven't done this in a while uh, because I have been busy. If you watch my channel, I've got three accounts going on my main doing gen farming all the time uh, my secondary alt account in uh, 2396 gathering doing barbs uh, just smash barbs yesterday for the um, i call it monument but i think it's called something else because uh, we had to kill a whole bunch of barbs in order to finish that monument so that the next uh, piece of the puzzle started but as you can see, I should have no problems doing this. So I'm going to unlock this now. I should get three stars. That's going to give me more rewards every day. I should have. And if you're having a problem, and if I don't beat this one, I should have put Sun Tzu behind. Reason being, right now, I'm getting hit by area of effect damage from YSG and from Kuzunoki. Um, yeah, I'm getting hammered on both marches. So if Sun Tzu was behind... He would have a lot more troops right now, and I probably hit three star, no problem. I might not get it this time. I probably needed 50% troops, but let's see. I got it. Okay. So I've unlocked that. That's awesome. Okay. So besides guardians and, you know, barbarians, if you don't have any more action points, there's also the expedition, which we just talked about. You can rework your Sunset Canyon lineup. Another thing you can do is a farm. Now, you can have more than one farm here. What I suggest you do if you're a low spender and you don't mind bucking up for a passport or if you know a kingdom in the continent where you can get a passport page from, you can migrate in as many farms as you want on the same account. And how do I know that? Because I do it all the time. And as you can see in 1937, I have four farms I used to have all of these, I used to have six farms in 1937. If you use immigration passport pages, you can have more than two accounts on one kingdom. So if you have a couple bucks to spend or the patience in order to build a farm in another kingdom in the same continent, you can migrate it in. Uh, it doesn't have to be under CH level eight uh, for the beginner immigration uh, item uh, because I don't think you can get in that way. But for whatever reason, passports work. So you could bring three or four farms in here without a problem because Lilith allows you to use passports within the same continent. So if you're bored, make some more farm. Um, let's just jump over to my other account here. Okay, so I'm in 2396 right now. We're in KVK. So much to do here. If you're not sure what to do, go kill barbarians. It's pretty easy. You can do expedition. Um, there's a lot more you can do in here. You can do set sail, which just reset. Tempest Clash is available for us for another 14 days. There's definitely more to do in an older kingdom, especially if you're in KVK. So shouldn't really be bored in that. And then let's just go to my main account. 
Okay, so obviously, and I will put a card up at the top. Um, I farm gems. Oh, that guy got one right near my city. I hate when that happens. Um, okay, so let's go and grab everything I possibly can. Um, gem farming is something that takes a lot of upkeep. So you should not be bored if you are gem farming. At least you shouldn't be looking for something to do if you're gem farming. Boredom, well, depends on what you define as boredom. Uh, let's grab that with that one. I did find a way to not use the scroll mouse on the beta version. For anyone who's watching who uses the beta version, you can actually zoom in and zoom out slowly using the left click, which I wouldn't have thought to use. It was actually by mistake that I found it, but I'm glad I found it because when you use the scroll wheel, you can't really get to the perfect spot for hovering above and looking for gems. I hope that guy wasn't looking for my gem because he's right beside it. I know that's a gem farmer. I know him well. Oh, let's snag this before he does. Is there any more level twos? Nope, that's it. So lots to do in a main account. I highly suggest gem farming. Look how many resources I have. I've got four farms on this kingdom. Um, no reason for me to be really doing anything else but gem farming. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. If you do like these, please hit the like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, have a good one. See you later.